and welcome. This is your host, E. Razor MK, back again. And this time, guys, we're doing the final character trailer for the initial roster. Our 39th character is none other than Elizabeth. So, it's kind of expected to be Elizabeth. I mean, come on, you got Ash, Kukuri, and if you guys play like the KOF 14 and do the official invitation story mode and you understand the ending, you gotta know that Elizabeth's gonna be in it. So, I'm kind of happy that she's in it, though, because she can finally be on Ash's team. But, anyway, guys, this is going to be a little different because I don't have KOF 13 on, you know, my PS4 or PC. So, we're just going to tell you about the story of Elizabeth, and that's probably it with the video, then. So, let's get started, shall we? Elizabeth has her start in KOF 11. She is the last and the heir of the Blanca Torche family, which basically they protect the innocent and basically the will of light. Think of something opposite like Wolfgang Krauser, whose nickname is the Emperor of Darkness. But anyway, she is the childhood friend of Ash Crimson. She is also rival with Ash, which marks her this very second female rival in KOF timeline. Because the very first one is Coolia, because her rival is Kay, and the third one be Isla, which she's rival against Shune. In KOF 11, Elizabeth formed the rival team along with Ben and Maru and Dulong to stop Ash. Ben and Maru wants to help Kyo to get his revenge on Ash on the previous tournament, while Dulong joins Elizabeth because she has information about the leader his father, and the traitorous Ron. In the end of KOF 11, Elizabeth's team has won the tournament and found Ash. Unknown to them, Ash already took Iori's power, which prevented Iori to shoot purple flames in KOF 13. But anyway, this surprises Elizabeth because of Ash's power. When Ash disappeared, she promised herself to be ready for the next time when she meets Ash. In KOF 13, Elizabeth formed her own team called Team Elizabeth along with Duong and Ash's old teammate, Shen Wu. And her mission is the exact same as the last tournament, to stop Ash. In the end of KOF 13, Elizabeth sees Ash one last time before he was erased from existence. She was holding on to Ash's headband, mourning on her loss of her childhood Friend. In KOF 14, Elizabeth made a cameo appearance on the official invitation team ending after Kukuri informs her about Ash's soul. After retrieving Ash's soul from Verse after Verse was destroyed, she thanked Kukuri and promised him that he will she will assist Kukuri on his goal. And that's where we're gonna leave off. That's where why she joined in KOF 15 to fulfill that promise she made with Kukri in KOF 14. So I was going to try to do a move set with her, but you know, I don't have KOF 13. But it's okay though, when I looked at the trailer, she had the exact same moves that I remember from KOF 13, except for the, her climax. Her climax is pretty interesting, like, shoot like a light arrow from like Zelda and then transform into a bird. That's pretty cool. But anyway guys, that's all 39 characters. Wow, all 39 character trailer is done. And we're so close to KOF 14. Sorry, not 14, but 15, my bad. <laughs> I can't speak today. But who knows what SNK might drop. They might drop us another trailer that would probably reveal who the main antagonist will be. Because that's the question of the day. Who is our final boss in KOF 15 to be the climax of KOF 15? You know what I mean? Like, this could be the climax of Shune's story. Who knows? Or the climax of KOF's story. Who knows what SNK be planning. But anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. If you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any KOF relay or gamer relay from yours truly. This is your host, ErazorMK, signing off. I'll catch you guys next time.